Fine language interpreter tonight, it's Philip Omondi. Former, five former top officials of the National Museums of Kenya, including ex-managing director Dr. Mzalendo Kibunja, were today arraigned before a Nairobi court over alleged embezzlement of 441 million shillings. The five are accused of the offense allegedly committed during the financial years 2015, 2016, and also 2021, 2022. The suspects were released on a cash bill of 5 million shillings each, or a bond of 10 million shillings. And in another case, embattled former Muranga Governor Mwangi Wairia engaged his legal team to negotiate with the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission to delay his appearance to tomorrow. The advocate's request to push the date to Wednesday was granted by the EACC. Ode Francis starts our bulletin with that story. It has been a busy day for the EACC detectives as their date with Mzalendo Kibunjia, Stanvas Ongalo, Oliver Rabuor, Wycliffe Ongata and Oscar Mwaura faced 10 counts at the Milimani Anti-Corruption Court to answer to charges including conspiracy to commit a corruption offence and embezzlement of 441.3 million shillings public funds. I have carefully considered the submissions made by the prosecution and the defence in relation to the bond terms and I hereby make the following orders. Now each accused person may be released on a cash bill of Kenya shillings 5 million or a bond of Kenya shillings uh, 10 million one surety like amount. The monies were allegedly fraudulently paid as salaries and gratuity to persons purportedly employed by the National Museum of Kenya. The suspects pleaded not guilty. Financial investigations reveal that the National Museum of Kenya, with 1,282 employees, allegedly had 105 ghost workers. The said ghost workers were employed between June 2016 and June 2022. During this period, they received a sum of 491 million shillings. The ghost workers were allegedly placed in a grade NM6 under a three-year renewable contract. Their average net income was 72,000 shillings per month. Their financial transactions tell a different story. They consistently transferred amount ranging from 60,000 to 63,000 shillings each month, directly or indirectly, to National Museum of Kenya officials. Financial flowchart allegedly shows that Weekly Fungata received more than 40 million shillings from the ghost workers, deposited a total of 163 million shillings into his M-Pesa account. Mzalendo Kibunjia, who was the then National Museum of Kenya boss, allegedly deposited a substantial amount of millions into his M-Pesa account. He received the money from Wycliffe Odiambo. Oliver Okinyi Rabur is alleged to have received a significant sum of money from the ghost workers. He then deposited it into his M-Pesa account. Evidence of Stanvas Ogalo M-Pesa transaction were also revealed between Oliver Okinyi and from Wycliffe Odiambo. Furthermore, it's alleged that the ghost workers and the National Museum of Kenya officials colluded to create false documents, which were then used to secure loans. <laughs> In another story, former Muranga governor Mwangi Wairia successfully managed to delay his appearance before the anti-graft commission from Tuesday to Wednesday at 8 a.m. We have agreed that he comes tomorrow. Yeah. And then he was coming by invitation. He was not under arrest. There was no summon and there was no warrant. While speaking to the media, Eugene Wamalua urged the ESCC detectives to practice decorum while arresting high-profile officials. I would like to see more uh, courtesy in terms of handling these matters and uh, would like to see that in future there is no need for harassment or embarrassment or intimidation of uh, the leaders when there are matters such as this, just an invite or summons to a particular place at a given time will do. Ode Francis, KT News, Nairobi. Yeah. Health Cabinet Secretary Susan Nakumicha is asking medics to abide